Okay, guys, so how much ammo is enough? The answer is all the ammo, which we know that can't do that. Most of us can't do that because we have to uh, work and we pay other bills and, um, you know, ammo is expensive. But let me tell you what system I use and see if it works for you. And um, obviously, you don't have to do this. You can do something differently or do it a... Um, modify this system to fit your needs. But what I do is I have, down here I have reserve ammo. This is my uh, ammo cans. The top two, uh, this one's labeled 556, but this one's also 556. So this is approximately, I think, about 2,300 rounds and those two cans total. There's 13, 1,400 rounds of 9 millimeter here. 12 gauge and 12 gauge. There is, let me think, about 600 rounds of double op buck and slug mixture in those two. And then we have 1,000 rounds of 45 uh, down in this cabinet or the ammo can. So this is ammo that I don't touch. This is my reserves, shit hits the fan, well, whatever you want to call it. That's ammo that we don't touch. Everything else uh, in the safe is available to shoot. But I also keep enough inventory in here that it's also shit hits the fan. We have more ammo. You know, we have these ammo bags are full. You know, there's a couple hundred rounds of 5.56 five, in there. There's a couple hundred rounds of 9 millimeter. And that's probably just about two boxes of 12 gauge, if that. We have a few hundred rounds of 5.56 five, up on this top shelf. There's I think there's about 200 rounds of nine millimeter there on the blazer. They're stacked. Uh, we got more nine millimeter. We got, those are 100 millimeter, 100 count nine millimeter boxes stacked up there. So I think there's at least, uh, let's take a look. So there's one, two, three, there's four of those. That's 400. There's a 250 box, another 50 round box. And we got a little bit of 380 that we use. 12 gauge. Those are 25 round boxes. They're two wide, two high, and three deep. I think that's five, 200, no, I'm sorry, 250 rounds ish, I believe. My math's a little slow here. I got to do better with 22. That's all the 22 ammo that I have. I do need to get more uh, 22 ammo. And then we got um, this is my 308 stash. I'm constantly adding to the 308. I got a couple of 5.56 five, kind of hunting rounds laying there, but uh, building up the 308, I probably won't put any of that in an ammo can. We're just going to leave it here. Um, I will buy enough of that that I will have reserves for when shit hits the fan. Some of this ammo, as this starts to build and I'm running out of space with some of this, um, what I typically do is I'll take some of this ammo, whether it's the nine millimeter, the uh, five, five, six, 12 gauge, I'll try to move some of that into the ammo cans and then change my number count on the ammo cans, uh, accordingly. And that way the reserve ammo is continuously, um, getting larger, we'll say, but also that makes room for, you know, more ammo in the safe as well. Cause like I said, I'll move some of that overflow down into the cans and go from there. And one thing I forgot to mention, guys, is you don't have to necessarily buy all your ammo at one time. I I will go every Friday and I may buy some 12 gauge. I may buy a box of 380, nine millimeter or 556. Five, I make it a, um, a tradition. Every Friday, I go and buy at least two boxes of ammo. And I got my wife where she's starting to do that too now. So that's kind of funny, but you don't have to get it all at once. Start now and buy some every Friday. And then, yeah, I do buy some stuff online when I buy, when I find uh, some sales and stuff, but most of all, everything you see in this safe and everything down in those uh, ammo cans is ammo that I've accumulated by buying it mostly every Friday. Thanks for watching.